so excited for this feature presentation. It's like the Super Bowl. The ads are the best part. Laura, here's one of my favorite advertisements, a real tearjerker. Let's take a look. How far away is Mars? Well, it's uh, 141 million miles from the sun, so pretty far. Why is it red? Because its surface is made of iron oxide. Why do they call it Mars? Well, it was named after the Roman god of war. You're so smart, Dad. Aw, how sweet. Did I ever tell you about Jupiter? Wait a second, though. Let's rewind that. Yeah, what was that? This is a really cute ad, but it's also a very sad symbol of our times, our views on parenting, teaching, and schools. It's a symbol of so many things that are wrong with the way we think. I agree. Let's watch it again. First, notice that the kid is asking questions and the dad is just giving him answers. How far away is Mars? Well, it's uh, 141 million miles from the sun, so pretty far. Yeah, it's like providing our children with factoid answers to their questions is good parenting or good teaching. Yeah, that giving kids answers is more important than getting them to actually ask the questions. Why is it red? Because its surface is made of iron oxide. What's amazing is that all those facts are technically not true, and science will eventually reveal new facts. So it's the questions, not the answers, that are really the epitome of science and smarts. Why do they call it Mars? Well, it was named after the Roman god of war. Yeah, it's as if our notion of smart means having a few scientific facts rather than an actual ability to think. You're so smart, Dad. What? You're so smart, Dad. He's looking up with a little gleam in his eye. Okay, wait for it. Booyah! The dad is hiding the iPad behind his hip. What? Say it isn't so. Secretly reading factoids from a computer is the epitome of fatherhood, right? The role of teaching and engaging our kids? Maybe we could save some time and money and skip the middleman. We could just sit our kids in front of a computer with a Google search window, even at bedtime. The saddest thing is that this touching interaction between father and child is really a father subverting the child's real developmental needs to his own fragile ego. Yeah, because he needs to feel smart in his son's eyes. Do you think we as teachers sometimes do the same thing? Well, I think we all do that. It's pretty human to want our kids to look up to us and think we're smart. But like this, at their expense, count me out. Did I ever tell you about Jupiter? At the end, the message says it all. All the answers on one app. After all, being smart isn't about the questions, but the answers, right?